Attention, please. Windsor Schools is now in a lockdown. I'll repeat. Attention, please. Windsor Schools is now in a lockdown. In the event of a lockdown, one of our emergency procedures, one thing you need to do is make sure that the door is closed and locked. Most of the time, by taking away this lockdown magnet. Additional steps are, make sure the windows are properly closed so people cannot know that you're in the room. Then, once everything is done, the lights of the room are to be shut out. Everyone is to go into this corner or any corner of the room where you find the orange dot. It's very important, then you all huddle in the corner and it's very important to remain silent, even in the event of a drill. As many of you know, we had some very unfortunate recent incidents down in South Florida where we had an individual who came to the school and made some poor choices. Those poor choices put a lot of people at risk. Here at Windsor, we want to make sure that you know that we have a lot of resources, a lot of different technological options, and a lot of people and staff here to try and make sure that you as students, the staff, the community are safe here. We know that we have a motto and a theme of being respectful, responsible, and safe, but it's more than that. We want you to understand that we have protocols, policies, procedures, and that there are people that you can come to to make sure that if you see something that seems just a little bit off, you hear something that you think is not okay, that you have people you can come to. Oftentimes students say, well, I'm worried. What if it turned out to be nothing? If it turns out to be nothing, that's okay, because at least we know. We have people here that you can come to, whether it's a counselor, a teacher, a staff member, a principal, or a police officer. We know that everybody has somebody that they can connect with. Go to that person and say, you know, I saw something and it just doesn't seem right. Or I heard that this was going to happen and it may be nothing, but we have a few concerns. Know that the staff here at Windsor, whether it be people monitoring the doors at the front, whether it be somebody who is walking down the halls and says, you know, you should check in on this individual. Reach out to us. We want to be here for you to make sure that not only is our school safe, but our community is safe at large. There are a number of situations that can take place on a school campus at any given period of time, such as fire drills and lockdowns, and we have measures in place to keep kids safe, such as sprinklers, cameras, AEDs, or an automatic external defibrillator, and the fire extinguisher, great for putting out fires, and my mixtape. So right now, we're in a fire drill. So, what the proper procedure is, we need to exit the building safely and quietly. It's important to walk with your class or the teacher that you are here with, just to make sure everybody knows where you are. So, after you come outside, make sure that you have all your teachers accounted for, and then, we will proceed up to the playground. Sorry, man, I can't. You gotta use the buzzer. Hi, can I help you? I'm going to Mr. Tuff's class. Okay, why don't you come up the stairs? I'm right at the top and I can give you a visitor's pass and have you sign in. Great, thank you. Come right on over and you can sign in. You can put that right on your shirt. All set. So, even if you know who the person is, it is very important to make sure they use the buzzer so the school can know who is in the building at any given time, just in case there is an emergency like a lockdown or a fire drill. One thing that can help keep our school safe is if you see something, say something. You can say something to friends. Teachers, administrators, custodians, guidance counselors, all of these people are here to help you and get that problem solved. <laughs>